What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we're playing my absolute favorite ADC. She is a soul stealer and she's absolutely one of the most satisfying champions to play. Today we are of course playing Vayne. So Vayne is what most people refer to as being a hyper carry. For those of you who don't know what a hyper carry is, then it basically, at least in my defini definition, means that it's a champ that scales very, very well into the late game and basically allows her or him to 1v5 or 1v9 the enemy team. You can literally do pentakills all by yourself if you're mechanically uh, like a mechanical genius on her. And she's just she's so amazing. You can basically shred anything apart, even heavy tanks you just completely shred them like paper. So... Vayne is a really, really fun pick, but also she is one of the more difficult, if not one of the most difficult ADCs you can play, but she scales really well. Um, for those of you who don't really know this channel and are pretty new to it, then what we're going to do in this video is, first of all, we'll talk a little bit about the champion, who she's for, what you can expect, etc. And then we will afterwards go into talking about the abilities. Here we'll go through every single ability, starting out with the passive, of course. And I know most of you guys hate hearing about the passive of, of champions, but the passives are, passives are actually the most important ability to understand in order to understand the champions, because these actually most commonly define how a certain champ likes to be played. This is kind of a weird setup we're playing against. And uh, yeah, we'll basically be talking about uh, the uh, the champ or, and, or, and the abilities, basically how they work and what they do. Then we'll talk about the combos. We'll also do this a little bit in between as we talk about the abilities. And then lastly, we'll talk about how to play her in the early, mid, and late games. So this is going to be like a full guide for anyone out there uh, that really likes to uh, wants to pick up Vayne, regardless if you're completely new or a semi-advanced player. Um, so yeah, let's kind of just get into things. But first of all, if you guys enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe down underneath. It really does help me out a lot. And if you like the video, then make sure to smash the like button. And if you want to see me live, then I stream every single Friday on Twitch. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Just a short disclaimer. These games are played live and the purpose of them are not to, sh to show you guys perfect gameplay in any way. It's just basically to showcase the champion and, uh, and to kind of mix the mix entertainment with information so it's not like if you miss something uh just if you miss one word because that's usually the way, how it is with very compressed videos then you have to basically back or uh, rewind in order to understand it this is just so even if you zone out you're probably still gonna understand the full picture of everything anyway let's kind of just ju jump into it so the very first thing is basically um yeah who, who's Vayne for and what can you expect from this champion? Well, as I kind of mentioned earlier, then Vayne is not the easiest ADC to play. Uh, and this is also one of the reasons why she's not super highly played. I'm not saying that she's not played. Of course, she, she, she actually is. Uh, peel that off. She actually is, but she is a mechanically more difficult champion. And this really comes to show in her kit. But this also kind of means that if you're good at her, you can really, really do insane plays with her and hard carry games like insanely because she has such a good, uh, her toolkit is so good at kiting and her passive basically allows her to deal absolutely insane amounts of damage uh, or her, her W's passive just because of the nature of, whoop, we'll be able to get that one just because of the nature uh, of how it deals damage. It'll allow you to shred anything apart. Um, so basically, if I had a friend that was just starting out with League of Legends for the very first time, and he was asking me if he should play Vayne ADC, then it's probably not the champion I would suggest, because her farming, the way her auto attacks feel, etc., are a little more difficult to get a feel of than other champions. Um, but if you are like intermediate or have played the game for a little while have a feeling of how to farm and how to do the basics of league of legends then picking up Vayne is an amazing idea um because she's really a champion that you can grow with and a champion that will never ever uh you will never be limited by your champion in any way at all like literally you can always grow you can always find creative ways of playing this champion 
a, a cool thing just to kind of kind of illustrate what you can do is for those of you who know what your e does i know a lot of people probably don't yet uh we'll get to that but for those of you who do then you can actually do you click your e before you flash and then you can flash straight after and if you do that then your e is gonna knock them into the wall from where you land with your flash and not from the from the position in uh, in which you threw the e this basically means that if we're standing here and we want to hit this one then we e this one and then we can actually flash over here right after we click e and they're gonna get thrown into that wall instead of this direction so this is one of those tips that are absolutely insane i'll make sure to try and show this a little bit later in the game when we have flash and we kind of when we're kind of ahead and feel like we can uh, we can we can sacrifice or flash to illustrate i'll try see if i can get it in there anyway that's kind of what uh one of those things that that are really cool about vein so it's a champion that you in no way ever will be limited by i'm not gonna be able to get this am i oh uh, nope I'm probably in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chase this because I'm. I'm gonna die as well if uh, if I do. So we'll just back out. This is this is fine. All right. So basically, if you are a beginner, then you need to know that there's quite a learning curve on Vayne. But it's the champ. She is basically. You could say she's the bot lane version of of a uh, a Riven more or less because it's a champ that just has so much mechanical depth to her uh but for a new player it can really obscure the the what do you say the the macro game like uh, the general strategy of playing the game but for anyone that has the basics down this is an amazing champion for you all right so let's kind of jump into what the abilities do well, our very first ability is our passive and i know most of you guys are either like next video or yawning by this point point when we start talking about the passive because i know passives are boring but they're super important and it tells you a lot about a champion and this is the case for every single champ more or less like most champions are like their play, play style are actually defined primarily by their passive at least according to me um so yeah or passive is what is called night hunter and night hunter is quite an amazing one so what night hunter does is basically that it allows Vayne uh, to run faster if she's running after an enemy or to an enemy champion um this works only versus champions so if you're running towards an enemy champion then you get bonus 30 percent or not 30 percent 30 movement speed uh this is actually quite significant and especially in early game as well it just allows you to chase people down even when you don't have boots this means you're always going to be able to catch up to people uh the question is of course should you chase or are, are you going to get under turret and die uh but if somebody's trying to run away from you with low hp then with Vayne, you're pretty much always going to be able to catch up to them just because of this passive. This passive is also tripled whenever you pop your ult. We'll talk about your ult and I'll ref like I, I will summarize this again when we get to the ult. But you actually get three times as much movement speed from your passive when your ult is active. Means you get 90 bonus movement speed, making you run really, really fast uh, if you're running after someone. So really keep this in mind this is really freaking good and it's one of those things that early game is really going to allow you to get kills do know that vein is not an early game champion this is where vein is is at her worst but i'm not saying she's bad you just need to know how to play her early game but we'll talk about that in a bit all right so that's all our passive does our next ability is our q it's called tumble and tumble is freaking amazing it is it is the spell that allows you to misdirect your enemies to dodge skill shots etc it is such a fun spell and such a good one so what tumble does is that it allows Vayne to do this roll and you can roll in any direction uh we might actually just need to help here this should be pretty whoop gonna make sure that we get him out in the open there we go some good free kills we're already three kills we are going to get super fat in this game most likely and there we go we could go help drake or take an armor play i think we'll push this and then we'll actually just back because the spawn times are super low and our pushing power with vein is not good uh, at all at all 
All right, let's get this and then the last one all right so what tumbles basically does is that whenever you click it then veins next basic attack deals and a bonus amount of damage it deals a quite a significant amount of extra damage and this is something that you oh maybe i should have helped drake my bad um anyway um this basically uh allows you to deal some extra damage damage with your cues so whenever you whenever you click your cue your next ability or your next uh, basic attack deals an additional 60 to 80 percent of your total attack damage meaning that you basically almost deal double the damage especially at high level so this is very 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 good uh and something that you really want to keep in mind so so definitely this is for damage purposes you do use this and also you use it for repositioning because whenever you click your tumble then it allows you basically to tumble in any direction when you you click it and this is where things are insane because what you how you want to use this is basically you want to you want to make sure that you use it such that the enemy gets confused. You want to misdirect them about your your position. That's why you very rarely want to use your tumble straight forward because it's so easy to read. You want to make sure that you use it such that you basically avoid the enemy as attack and become a kind of a slippery target. Like even running into a bush here, then you could queue instantly back out the way you came if somebody's chasing after you, etc. Like this is the way you want to think with your cue is you always want to try and use the roll to to your tumble to misdirect your enemy from actually hitting you uh, and from knowing where you are and this really comes to show when we start talking about your old because when you have your old up and we'll talk about that this again as we get to the old when you have your old up then every time you tumble you also become invisible for one second so this kind of as you guys can see tells you a little bit about why you want to be so good at using this tumble to to be unpredictable to be hard to read where you're you're gonna go you don't want to be using this just to run after people this is not what it's good for it's also good for that if needed but then you need to know that you don't have anything to peel you off but just from the get-go you already have your passives to run up to people so your q should not be a necessity for that at all um what's also very important with your with your q is Oh, that is bad. Might actually still be able to do this. Uh, one important aspect of your Q that you need to be aware of is, of course, that um, that your Q, your tumble, is what is known as an auto attack reset. For those of you who don't know what an auto attack reset is, then it basically means if you auto attack and then use the ability, then you're instantly going to be able to to auto attack again so you always want to make sure that you never uh use your q before you've auto attack you always want to do an auto attack before you q because this is going to allow you to get that extra shot in right after uh this is going to be very important as we start talking about your uh about your your w because your w really needs these extra auto attacks your auto attacks are super important on vein um, so yeah, that's basically all our tumble does. As you guys can see, it has a very low cooldown. And it's going to be quite insane, especially when you pop your ult. But you want to use this to kind of redirect. Also, a cool tip. If you want to max DPS, then what you can do is you can tumble into a wall if you're close to one. And this is going to shorten the animation of it. Allowing you to, to basically do auto attacks quicker. And getting off your damage from your Q a lot faster. But this is only useful if you know that you just need to pump out your max DPS uh, and you don't need your tumble to kite or uh, to basically uh, do anything else. So just it's just a nice tip to know using walls. Except a good example for this use case could be if you want to push a turret that you go to the side and tumble in just like this and it's going to cancel the auto attack re uh, animation. Whoop, let's touch all of this. Okay, so that is all our tumble dots. Our next ability is what is called silver bolts. And silver bolts is the primary like sauce, the secret sauce for Vayne. This is the reason why, why Vayne has such an immense amount of damage. Why she literally shreds everyone in just a matter of seconds. Because what this thing allows her to do is that every third consecutive strike, 
that Vayne hits a target with consecutive, meaning that you don't out attack anything else or use an ability on anything else in between hitting that target three times. Um, then she deals an additional amount of bonus true damage to the target based on that target's maximum health. This is quite insane because at the lowest rank, it deals 4%. Let's just kill this dude. Okay, we're stuck in this. We'll go up here and help. See if we can catch someone and help. Uh, but it, at the minimum range, or at the at the lowest level uh, with this ability, then it deals 4%. Should be able to uh, beat this guy. There we go. I'm going to heal this dude. And another one. Are we going to be able to beat that guy? If he goes back for farm, he's dead. All right. So at this point, we're already pretty, pretty fed. Doing fairly well. Let's get a little bit of this farm. Um, but basically, at the lowest level, your silver ball steal an additional 4% of the target's maximum health as true damage and at the maximum level it deals 14 percent 14 percent is absolutely freaking ridiculous and this is this is where vein starts to become like like there are no targets that can basically do much against this a fit vein or a vein reaching late game just from her passive starts literally shredding everybody apart in a matter of seconds as long as she hits the target three times or more uh because for every third consecutive strike, as we talked about, you deal this bonus damage. It should be noted, and this is especially useful at the low levels, is that the Silver Ball's damage cannot, at the lowest level, go beneath 50 damage. Uh, this means that even if the target's uh, max health is lower, like 4% is lower than 50 uh, damage, then it always deal at least 50 damage, which is quite insane. It's only useful at low, or at low levels, by the way. Uh, or it's only nice to know by there because there are some targets that 4% is going to be less than 50, which basically less than 50 HP, which basically just means that you are luckily going to get some more damage just by the nature of the spell. Uh, but that's kind of all this ability does. And uh, the cool thing is that every con third consecutive strike basically also means that your ability is chained with this. And this is why you want to auto attack before you queue because you instantly reset your uh, your basic attack whenever doing this so you can actually do an auto attack into a Q into an auto attack and this will be enough uh, to get yourself that silver balls prog dealing uh, insane amounts of damage so it's not my finest play at all I am 100% dead here he is gonna get me he's 100% gonna get me alright I was a little too focused on other stuff Anyway, that doesn't really matter too much. I think this is going to be fine. If we sell this, we might be able to finish off. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's kind of all the silver balls does. It's quite significant. Uh, a cool combo if you want to poke people in lane is you can do an auto attack into a Q and then you can use your E. Uh, your E actually also pops one of these silver balls procs and this is still going to deal that damage. So if you just want to go for a quick trade, it's quite mana hungry using the your E for it, but then you could auto attack Q into an E, and this is gonna gonna pop that uh, that uh, silver balls and gonna give some some really nice poke. Uh, but that's basically your Q. You can also or your W. You can also see how far you are with these consecutive strikes by looking at the target that you are attacking. I'll show it right up here. Uh, this is the last thing about your W. I just want to show, and then we'll move on. Basically, if we go to a target, uh, we'll do it on the big minion here. You can see it gets this circle around it. Now it has two. And the third one is basically going to pop it off. Oops, it actually went off just before. Uh, I'll show it on this one. Let's show it on the next minion. So basically, one, two, and three. We're going to be able to just deal that extra damage right there, which is super, super neat. Like, this is so freaking good and something that you need to be aware of. All right, so our next ability is also one of the most skilled abilities to use, or at least the ones that can be used that you need to really think about how to use. This is your Condemn, your E. What this allows you to do is throw out a, a bolt from your crossbow that you run around with on your back, and it just throws the target 900 units away. 900 units is basically more or less 
uh, the same range as uh, as your E has right here. So it's basically if you hit it here, it's going to go another uh, the same radius further out. Um, so it, it allows you to basically throw people or knock people back. It deals a decent chunk of damage and applies one of these uh, one of these uh, um, silver balls procs. So you basically get one one of these consecutive strikes. Um, the cool thing is that if the target is knocked into a wall or something solid, then they are going to be stunned for one and a half seconds. And they are going to take 150% of the damage from uh, that, your, that your Condemn usually does, that your E usually does. So it also deals more damage if you throw them into the wall. So this is, of course, what you want to go for. This is kind of what we talked about earlier as well, that you have the option of, of let's say that the target is right uh let's see do we need to help nah it's fine uh that a target is right here so if you e that target and then flash over here while your your condemn your arrow of your e is mid air then if you flash over there then you're gonna throw them into the wall uh which is absolutely ridiculous so this is a way to make your e more or less completely uh Undutchable. It's going to be insanely hard for anybody to react. They literally have to flash or know that you're doing it in order to do so. And not many veins know how to do it. So it's something that you really want to think about uh, using for certain scenarios. But that is all or E does. It is a very high skilled ability and you can also pretty often use it. You do want to still play backline with vein. So to push people back whenever they're trying to get to you and die for you uh, then it's also a really good peeling ability and especially if you can throw them into a wall all right so our next ability is our old and this is this is the the uh, the secret bread and butter and like the the, the topping on top of the cake for vein and that is basically basically our old which allows her god dang it they surrendered uh i'll just finish talking about this one but basically, what this allows her to do is pop what is called Final Hour. And Final Hour uh, gives Vayne this 8 to 12 seconds uh, increased uh, bonus damage, where she deals 35 to 65 extra bonus damage uh, with all of her attacks. And it triples, as we talked about, her Night Hunter's uh, bonus, which is absolutely insane. Not only does it do this, but it also reduces the cooldown of your tumble, your Q, by 30 to 50 percent meaning at the max rank you're actually gonna be able to use your tumble twice as often which is absolutely ridiculous in addition to this like this is not enough then vein also grants this this invisibility every time she tumbles for one second allowing her to really kite around and this is kind of how everything comes together you guys can see how every ability really complements the other one and everything can be used in subject to how like the situation you need it she's good for chasing people down she's amazing for kiting away from people you're really slippery since you can tumble you're in this you have your if you buy ruined king you can slow them and get more movement speed with that as well and you're just such a slippery target that deals absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage like not almost nobody can out damage you uh playing maybe a cock mob but that's about it uh, and also another thing with your final hour with your ult is that while this one is active then whenever a champion dies that Vayne has hit with her abilities or her out attacks within the last three seconds then final hours duration her ult duration is extended by another four seconds uh, up to the maximum of its original duration meaning that if you kill somebody just the second that you you pop your ult then it's not going to extend it more than it's just going to refresh it to the maximum of 8 or 12 seconds, depending on its its rank. Um, so you can never exceed 12 seconds duration, but you can extend it, if that kind of makes sense. So that's about that part. So in terms of the combos, we talked a lot about some of these things. Is auto attack resets with your Q, your Q or your, your E flash combo, your poking with auto attack Q, and then E, because this is going to pop the the, uh, the the three consecutive strikes from your silver balls. This is generally what you want to do to poke people. This is how you really make straight worth it on, uh, on vein. You always want to try and see if you can get these three shots off. Because there are not many people that can outpoke you uh, 
uh, or I'll trade you if you get the third off. So usually you want to use that one to, to maximize the damage. Um, but that's kind of that one. And also there's the reset of your Q by queuing into solid things uh, to shorten the animation. Then there is the last thing that we need to talk about, and that is how to play this ADC in the early, mid and late game. You can also play her in top lane, by the way, might make a video on that sometime. But basically for uh, early game, then Vayne is pretty often uh, going to be countered. Like I know this was kind of a weird game and we got a weird setup that's not kind of out of my power. Um, but basically with Vayne, you kind of like you are very rarely the strongest in the early game as you get good to her you're probably going to be able to win early game fairly often because uh, she is a highly skilled champion that you can learn but generally speaking on paper she is not the greatest early game champion um so you are going to struggle especially against long range champions such as caitlin uh even cockmoth probably is also going to outrange you pretty badly and since you have poor wave clear then champions that shove you and then poke you can also be kind of problematic. So a winning lane for a Vayne, especially as a new player, is basically just that you get out of the laning phase with somewhat equal farm to your enemy and not losing the lane or dying too many times. Uh, of course, if you can win the lane, go for it. That's great. But generally speaking, just an equal lane is a winning lane for Vayne because she outscales by the nature of her abilities. Um, in the mid game, she becomes kind of a fun champion because she is not as highly dependent on her support as many other ADCs are. She can also kind of play uh, the mid game as sort of an assassin because you have your E to knock people into the wall, you have your invis, and you can basically 1v1 more or less any target. Of course, you do need to be careful with other assassins like uh set rengar Cassix, etc that can uh, that can one shot you instantly but with that said like mid game you have different options you can group uh with your team play generally for team objectives you can also split push in certain situations if needed or uh you can basically uh make sure one thing that is general with all adcs by the way is you should always make sure that you optimize your farm that if uh if you if the mid lane is contested for farm with your own mid laner then rather roam down to the bot push the way back and then go back in there make sure that you don't uh group up too much so that you don't get any gold because as soon as you start getting these items you're really going to be insane um so that's kind of the mid game you kind of want to play around objectives you want to if you get into fights make sure that you use your q uh, to misdirect your targets most commonly they're going to try and chase you down they know how dangerous you are so you're going to be using your q in order to kite away from people the thing with vein that most people need to learn and that is hard to basically um stay non-greedy with is that it's a really good idea to especially as a newer vein player to always just hit the target that is closest to you if the target starts to flee away, then don't chase after them while and because if you do, then you're going to close the gap between you and another champion and they are going to be able to catch you Then rather just swap target. And I know this sucks, but it, it if you chase after there's a good chance you are going to get shot down. So just always going for the closest target is actually the safest uh, way to learn her. And then as you get better, you know, you kind of your limits and what you need to be aware of. Uh, and that will allow you to use some of this extra chasing potential that you also have. But again, this is kind of where it becomes really dangerous to play Vayne because it is so easy to become too greedy just because you have such an amazing amount of damage you can do. Um, late game, very much the same story. You have the option of split pushing. When team fighting, you want to play the backline just like any other ADC. Um, that is your primary thing. She can also be played a little bit as an assassin, but it only for people that really knows what they're doing and even then it's still a very risky thing to do so you want to play the back line you want to hit it whatever is closest and you are going to be able to kill that thing before uh probably their adc unless they have something like a cock mob as we talked about earlier uh so generally speaking you are going to deal more damage you are going to kill their front line a lot quicker even if it's a tanky front line so just hit whatever is closest make sure they don't get to you 
use your E in order to peel them off yourself or to knock them into a wall uh, or stuff like that. And of course, if you do get the option of shutting down their ADC or something else in a safe scenario, then of course, go for that. Anyway, I know this was kind of sucky that these guys surrendered early. I really had a lot more stuff that I would like to show you. And I might do another video on Vayne, probably top lane. Well, we don't go through the abilities, but just play her and kind of showcase everything and have fun with her. Uh, but with this said, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this one. If you did, then make sure to smash that like button. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, then make sure to subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me live, then make sure to follow me on Twitch. I've also left the link down below. And otherwise, it's twitch.tv dash mips underscore live. And I stream every single Friday. Um, so yeah, come hang out. We do uh, stupid bills and fun stuff uh, every, yeah, basically every time. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. As always, stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.